Hi, and welcome to my channel, Sew so Media, where I share how I make a handmade wardrobe for me and my children. Thanks for joining me today, if you are new, and to the subscribers who have come back to watch this vlog, thank you so much for subscribing. This week I am sharing a week in the life of my sewing, what I get made up in a week, when I sew, and so on. So if you're interested in that, please do keep watching and see what I get up to this week. So today is Monday and my oldest returned to school today, my middle child returns to school tomorrow and my youngest is still with me at home. So not a lot of sewing got done today, um, however I have managed to over half term cut out a few projects. So I have, I usually cut out my projects and pop them into these plastic envelopes um, along with the patterns and then I have a few things that I can just grab and work on as and when I have a moment. <laughs> My sewing machine went away over half term um, for a service and so I only have my overlocker here at the moment which is fine because I have a few jersey projects to be getting on with. So tonight I think I will choose one of the jersey projects that I have cut out. If you want to find out more about what I'm working on at the moment do head over and watch my June plans video, I'll pop a card up here, uh, where I share what I'm working on this month. Um, tonight I've got my solar tea that I might work on or I've got a kilo dress that I've also cut out and then I might start working on that as well. I think I can probably get um, at least the sides of that dress sewn up even though I want to wait for my machine so I can do the neckband on that by machine. I like to do at least the basting end of the neckband by machine first just to check the fit before I um, go at it with the overlocker. So yeah, that's what I'm working on tonight. It's about 8pm, the children are in bed so I think I can get at least an hour of sewing in tonight. Um, before I head to bed. stop there for tonight. I have put together quite a good chunk of my dress. My kilo wrap dress is what I've been working on tonight. So I have sewn up the back seam, I have done the sleeves. Um, I was supposed to do the neckband before I did the sleeves but I need my sewing machine I think. I don't want to put in the neckband without the sewing machine and I also appear to have cut out the pattern pieces but not the neckband. So. I need to print that piece off and recut it. Thankfully I have plenty of material left so I can just go and cut that bit out. And then, yeah, it should take me another evening of sewing and I should have this one done. But, um, yeah, I quite enjoy the, the kilo wrap dress because it is quite a, a quick, satisfying sew. And I made a few things last month that were a bit more involved, so it's just nice to have a bit of a palette cleanser. Um, and also I just love this fabric. We're having a bit of a heat wave in the UK at the moment and I think this will be such a lovely floaty dress to be able to wear over the next couple of weeks as it warms up. So I'll see if I can get that finished over this week um, along with perhaps another couple of t-shirts that I've got ready to go as well. Um, but yeah, exciting. Hopefully I'll be able to pick up my sewing machine tomorrow or Wednesday um, and it will be working beautifully. Um, it was having a bit of a moment where it decided it wouldn't stop when I stopped pushing the pedal. So yeah. That was pretty exciting. <laughs> it knitted up and unpicking quite a few rows of stitches that weren't supposed to be there. But anyway, that should be fixed soon and in the meantime I will be working on these knit projects with my overlocker and just leaving a few of these bits like the neckband to do when I do get my sewing machine back. So yeah, that's me for tonight and I'll see you in the morning. you saw and I have prepared the kids breakfasts 
So I like to get up early in the morning before the kids, get everything set up and ready, and then use this time before everyone's awake. Um, or at least before everyone's downstairs to just do some sewing bits and pieces. So sometimes I will do some embroidery, sometimes I will do some cutting out, sometimes I will do some editing of my vlogs. Um, there's always other admin things to do as well, but at this time I do quite like to use just for some quiet time before the kids are up. So, put my coffee down. This morning I am going to, um, I've printed out I couldn't find it anywhere. I printed out the other, the neckband for my kilo wrap dress and I have some of my leftover fabric here so I'm going to try and cut that out this morning just so I can get that one hopefully finished tonight. Um, and then for those of you who've seen my May Makes video, I made this gorgeous um, hazel dress, this sundress out of um, a, just a really lovely border print fabric but I just feel like it's slightly too short on me. So I did buy some more fabric from um, the stitching post and that has arrived so I have pre-washed that and ironed that and so I'm going to try and cut the ruffle out of that this morning. I'm hoping to be able to pick up my sewing machine this afternoon or um, tomorrow morning so I might try and get that sewn up this week as well because we are having such lovely weather in the UK at the moment and it would be lovely to be able to wear it in the garden. So yes, I'm going to use this lovely quiet time to cut some things out and then uh, yeah it'll be a busy day everyone's back at school today obviously the baby's still with me <laughs> but yes the bigger ones are at school so we will probably head to the playground do some things like that so I will come back probably this evening for some more sewing minutes or so to just do some sewing this afternoon um, I probably won't get any done tonight because I have um, a meeting tonight so I'm up here now um, you saw this morning I cut out the Kylo Rep dress neckband so that's what I'm trying to put in place now I won't be able to get the sewing machine before tomorrow but I would still like to get some sewing done so I'm gonna have a go at putting this in and finishing up the dress in the next 20 minutes or so and uh, then I will use my machine tomorrow to do uh, the top stitching on the neckband and the hemming the cuffs and the hem of the dress. But the rest of it I think I should be able to get sewn up this afternoon. So that's my time up. I need to go and do the school run. And uh, so I did get to the end of the kilo wrap dress apart from sewing the hem on the sleeves and on the skirt. But the rest of it is done. So that's really cool. The fabric is from Guthrie Ghani. They don't have any left in stock, unfortunately, of this particular colorway, but they do have one with a mint green background. So if there's any in stock, I will link it below. But yes, that is a good day's sewing. Um, the rest of the week, often I don't get as much time to sew just because of different other things that are going on after school, violin lessons. But yeah, it's been a good start to the week and hopefully I'll get back to you tomorrow with some more sewing. Bye. Hi, it's Wednesday and I have not done much sewing today as predicted because Wednesdays is our busy day. Both boys have violin lessons and it was extremely hot today so we spent quite a lot of time, my daughter and I, in the garden in the paddling pool. Um, so it wasn't particularly conducive to getting lots of sewing done. Um, I also don't yet have my machine back so apologies because this has been an interesting week in sewing without a sewing machine. <laughs> but I am picking it up tomorrow morning, I've had that confirmed, so tomorrow I should hopefully get a lot of sewing done. I have been cutting out so many projects ready to get sewing. Uh, but today I thought I would just do a quick fabric haul because I got two very exciting pieces of fabric from Sew Me Sunshine today. Both Nerida Hansen fabrics, a designer I absolutely love. 
So this one here, um, you can see I've already actually started cutting it out. This one is Katie Cortman for Narita Hansen and it's called, excuse me, I'm checking my notes, Paint Splashes. Now I have been looking at this one for such a long time. It's a fabric that I've been seeing again and again and again and I've been putting it off and putting it off buying it. And actually in this case I've not bought it for me. <laughs> By the time this video goes out hopefully the recipient will have received this but I'm hoping to turn this into something for my mother's birthday. So that's the goal. <laughs> she lives in New Zealand so I just thought it'd be nice to try and make her something uh, from she also loves beautiful prints like I do so I'm hoping that the courier will be able to get this there in time this will certainly be my priority to get sewn up over the next couple of days so that I can put this um, in the post so that's the first thing I got from Sew Me Sunshine this beautiful cotton sateen Neri de Hansen if they've got some left I will pop it in the description box below and then this was the end of Bolt so it's another cotton sateen. It is also Nero de Hansen. And it's this one here. It's by Greta Laundie for Nero de Hansen and it's called Canyon. I'll see if I can hold it up for you. It's quite abstract. It's lots of different shapes. I just loved those colours. I thought they were so striking. Um, and I love navy. I've got quite a lot of navy even turned as tops in my wardrobe, so I thought I could turn this into a Hannah wrap skirt, which is becoming one of my favourite patterns of the summer. I've made one so far, I'm hoping to make a couple more because they're just so easy to wear and so light. And I've found before with wraps that they don't always wrap over enough to give you coverage but this skirt has been fantastic. So it's the Hannah wrap skirt by Rosary Apparel, I'll link it in the description box below. And um, if I get some time I may cut this out. I'm hoping I've got enough. The end of bolt was only 98 centimeters. I'm hoping I might just about have enough to squeeze out the Hannah wrap skirt. Uh, I might need to use like a navy or a contrast for the waistband, but I'm quite happy to do that. I think that would look, as long as I pick up one of the colors, and there are plenty of them in the fabric, I think it would look okay. So that's the plan for that one. So that's it for today. I'm afraid I am about to go and call a dear friend who lives in the States. We have a standing date on Wednesday night to catch up on the phone, which is always lovely. Tomorrow I'll pick up my machine and it will be a sewing day. So welcome to Thursday. Uh, I have been this morning and got my sewing machine back, which is really exciting. So I'm going to get cracking with a bunch of projects today. It's nap time. Um, I've finished some jobs, so I'm going to try and get a little bit of sewing time before the school run. So I have the kilo wrap dress that I started the other day that I just need to do the sleeves and the hem. So that might be job number one. Then I started the solar tee um, the other night as well. Um, I could do a little bit of it with the overlocker. I did the neck band as you see. I did the sleeve shoulder seams. But to do the sleeve, the ruffle on the sleeve and things, I really need the machine. So I had to stop there. And then the last project that I probably won't get to at nap time today, but I might see if I can get a start on it, is my dress that I shared in my May makes. And that is this gorgeous um, dress. So I have cut the hem band for that or ruffle. I'm going to turn it into a ruffle, I think, and add that at the bottom of the skirt just to give it another three or four inches in length and then I'll hem that ruffle. Hey and welcome to Friday. I've cut out this beautiful fabric that I showed you on Wednesday I think and I'm going to get that sewn up tonight. It's a nice quick easy pattern to sew. So that's going to be my number one project tonight because I need to get that sent away and gifted as soon as I can. Now the other night I was talking about working on my paper cut pattern Solar Tea. Now I got as far as working on the sleeve ruffles and that's when it all went wrong. I tried a zigzag stitch and that looks all right but not particularly. I don't I don't think that's the finish that I'm looking for. So 
I think I have found a solution to that after much trying and messing about with my machines. If you do know any solutions for sewing small hems on jersey fabric, do let me know. I think it's just because it's such a narrow hem and it's so visible. So I can't like twin needle it or anything because it's too small. Um, and it's a bamboo jersey which is very light. So yeah, anyone who's got any tips about how to hem tiny rolled edges on a viscose or a bamboo jersey, do write me a comment below and do share. But I think I found a solution. Okay, so what I've discovered that does work, it's still not perfect, but it's the best I've come up with so far. What I've done is use some of my stable stabilizing paper. So I use this often for heirloom sewing when I put two pieces of lace <laughs> very close together and I have to do tiny zigzags to join them. Um, I use this to stabilize the lace. But what I've done tonight is <laughs> I've just, um, you literally just place it underneath the fabric. So if I just lay that down like that. So that's, I would just literally lay it on top of the stabilizing paper like this. And then I just run it through my sewing machine. Um, and then at the end, you can see where I've done it previously, you just tear uh, it off one side of the stitching and then it just comes off the other side. So it's really straightforward to use. Then this is the final result. So you can see the stitching is, um, it looks neat. It's not stretched um, in any way. I have pressed it with the iron, but even before I pressed it, it was looking fine. So I'm just a bit happy with the finish of that, I think. Um, like I say, I know you don't need to finish jersey, but I think that will look nicer when it is gathered over the sleeve. It's now Saturday. I finished my paper cut patterns Solar Tea. I'm not totally convinced by the drop shoulder. Um, I like the frill and everything else. I think it's a lovely pattern. But I did find for some reason it a bit of a struggle to sew up at times. I'm not sure exactly what it was. I need to reflect on that. I'll probably share more in my June Makes video. But it is now finished. I will probably put a photo in here so you can see it uh, and yeah I'm gonna just wear that a little bit and see how I feel about it I do love the fabric it's very soft and lovely to wear I'm just not sure about that dropped shoulder on me but it is now finished I also finished the skirt so I will wrap that up and get it sent and then hopefully be able to share a photo uh, soon so my job for today is to see if I can put the ruffle on this dress Well, do you ever have one of those days where sewing just does not go to plan? <laughs> so I think I think it was just that I had 20 minutes and I wanted to get a job done and then everything goes wrong. Um, I ended up forgetting to sew one of the sections into the ruffle for this ruffle. And so then by that point I'd hemmed the ruffle, I'd searched the edges. So <laughs> I got some time tonight to come up and unpick the hem a little bit to insert the last chunk of the ruffle that I'd left out <laughs> and to reattach it to the skirt so I'll hold it up but I will also try and insert the picture of me wearing it but the dress now does have a ruffle. Tomorrow uh, the plan is to just do some mending uh, and some alterations so I made this dress for my daughter um, it's such a cute one. It's a peony patterns one. I think this is the wattle dress actually and I love it because it's got just a very simple bodice and a full circle skirt. Now the colours are quite autumnal in this one I think but um, she wears it all the time. It still fits her really nicely so what I want to do tomorrow is just to trim off the sleeve basically and make it a short sleeve dress and then she can hopefully get a bit more aware of that over the summer before she grows out of it. Then I made this one, um, this dress for her. This is a below the Kofi pattern. I absolutely love below the Kofi. She's a New Zealand designer. She actually comes from Christchurch, uh, which is where I'm from in New Zealand, which is a really special connection. Um, and this is called the Cody dress. And um, I absolutely adore it. And I made it from this double gauze. It was the first time I'd worked with double gauze. And I'd love her to get some wear out of it again this summer. So what I'm going to do is I think I again will trim the sleeves and I'm going to add just a little bit of elastic to those because I find with the double gauze it just hangs. It's a little bit um, wide for her. 
So that's that plan again, just trimming the sleeve so that she can get some wear out of that one. Hi, so it is Sunday night and the end of my week in sewing and I just thought I would catch you up with what I did get up to this week in the end, starting with what I managed to get sewn today. So I started off with this Cody dress uh, by Below the Kofi and I just shortened the sleeves by just trimming them off using a dress that she already had um, to get the measurements and just folded that over twice and hemmed it and I think that looks really sweet. So. I just bought her some little gold sandals the other day for summer so that will go really well with those and I think she'll get a lot of wear out of it. Um, so that's great. So then I also shortened the sleeves on her peony patterns wattle dress and I just think shortening those sleeves makes it wearable for summer now as well. So that's great. Um, I might try and get a picture of her in that and if I do I'll pop it up here so that you can see it on her. It's a really lovely wee pattern, very simple, but I just love the simple bodice with the full skirt. I think that looks lovely. We're having a bit of a heat wave in the UK at the moment and I've realised she has no summer pyjamas. Um, and today I was looking online to buy her some and I thought, do you know what, I've got fabric and I've got a pattern upstairs and I think I could whip one up this afternoon, so over nap time today that is exactly what I did. So, um, I had this really lovely cotton in my stash from making a dress for uh, another little girl and I also had some pink piping and fortunately the two actually worked beautifully together and I also had a box of snaps that I bought on Amazon which I used for the back so it's just a very simple little nighty. it's got a small bodice and the sleeves are just finished with that binding and then I did add the ruffle onto the bottom and then at the back rather than doing buttonholes I just saved time by popping on a quick uh, popper. Uh, the pattern that I used was one that was again in my stash and it is this one. It's the Quick Sew K3423 and that's for toddlers aged 1 to 4 and you can see from the pattern cover, well, actually I'll see if I can turn around and show you the line drawings, there we go. So it has a long sleeve version here and then this short, well, this version here with no sleeves for the summer. I decided to make this version here in the two year old size and if I have managed to take a photo of her in it, <laughs> I shall pop it up here for you to have a look at what it looks like on. Um, I really like cotton for nighties, I just think it's a lovely fabric. Um, it's very light for them to wear and airy to sleep in. So. I'm really pleased with how that turned out. I think that is the thing with sewing, when you can make it yourself it kind of puts you off buying things, but um, that's fine. And now I know how to make that. I did whip that up in a couple of hours. She naps from about one till three um, and all I had left to do at the end of nap time was put on the poppers and hem the ruffles. So yeah, it's definitely a very quick project that included the cutting out. Um, and tracing the pattern actually. I think the bit that took the longest was just popping on that piping and making sure that was all nicely put in because I do like to make sure that it's a really neat finish. Mm. During the week I managed to finish a couple of projects. It felt like a very slow week sewing wise because just so many things took a lot longer. I didn't have my machine at the beginning of the week so I had to just use the overlocker, then the solar tea. There were a few things that went wrong and so that took longer than expected but actually looking back on the week I got quite a few things done. You've seen the things that I managed to get done today, but also in the week I did manage to uh, make my Kylo wrap dress, so that's that one there, and I'll pop up a picture. And I also managed to, I did manage to finish my solar tea, so that's that one. And then I did also manage to get the ruffle sewn onto my little beachy dress with the border print. And again I will try and pop a photo in here. So. It was a productive week in sewing, a few mending and alteration jobs were done and I got three new garments sewn up. The two dresses, or well, the top and the dress for me and the nighty for my daughter. So actually a productive week and a few things that she needed for her wardrobe and yeah, the Kylo wrap dress. I can already see myself wearing that a lot. It's very comfortable and floaty for summer. Thank you for watching my week in sewing. I hope you enjoyed following along with me for the week as I worked on my projects. I really do work in fits and starts, so I hope that that was interesting for you to watch. 
do leave me a comment below about what you're working on this week. I always love to chat with you in the comments and hear what you're getting up to and which projects you've chosen to work on. So thank you to those of you who have subscribed already to my channel. I so appreciate you subscribing and watching my videos. And if you are new, please do hit the subscribe button and follow along on my journey. And if you've enjoyed watching today's video, please do give it a thumbs up as that really helps YouTube to show my video to other people who might also enjoy it. So I hope you have a great week ahead. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.